Good morning. It's eight uh, thirty ish. Oh, let me see. Thursday the ninth. Oh, man, cooking through February already. I'm trying to find something on Bayer, but I don't have much in terms of the news feed. I'll have to see if there's some sort of court ruling that I'm not aware of. Baxter, what are you doing? Oh, man. These guys are getting hurt this week. I'm going to keep grinding up on these guys. That's getting oversold. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, of course, start off with the spy. Most important thing, right? How are we holding up here? Still, right on it. So we got, basically, what was that, Monday? Right, yeah. So Monday was the only day, which is when we came down and we bounced off the anchored VWAP from the all-time high. So we're trading above that. It seems like this. So we got one, two even this morning so we have we have the battle of this downtrend ray and this uptrend ray right now Let's check out the cues real quick yeah you can see that that's that's present here maybe that This would be good. I think it's probably more along the lines of that. So. Cues look a little bit better in a way. Obviously, in the pre markets, up a little more. Diamonds. Still just nice grind higher. You can see this RSI kind of get into like a wedge pennant here. Uh, XBI took a hit yesterday. I'm not sure why. Well, she's weakening up, so she's battling the sector. Yeah, so you can see the anchored view up here is just in control. It's mostly that too. I mean, there's probably some down. You can see some downtrend rays that have had some influence here. Here's an, you can see one that we just got rid of right here. There's one there, and then there's this one that we're on right now. So there was an, we had one fighting it off here that's preventing it from, and then when it finally broke it, it's also got this one too. So we're right there right now. But then you know we bounced off here, kind of like a double bottom off this anchored VWAP from. Is this from the old time? No, was this mid August? No, April. Wow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we did. This did fine throughout most of the summer. So, what do we have here? We have like a double bottom and a double top coming in, and we're in. We're really sinking into the top of the formation. The best would have been if we just came here and just popped right out. We have this uh, one thirty four area, but the fact she's sinking down a little bit is concerning. But a little bit like a double bottom here, potential. So if she gets above 134.50, and obviously really gets above, the, the big thing's going to get above this anchored VWAP from this high. Once you get there and then come back, probably retest this area, then go, would probably be really strong. Got to get above this high for me. Basically, you have to get above this high of the formation, come back down, really hit it, and then if you, if you come down, hit it, and then the angle of attack up off this is steep. That should be a good sign. There's probably some people waiting for some strength here. I'm going to probably buy up some Baxter today. So that's the number one on my list. GSK, what do we got? Very similar to this GSK idea. Again, above. So this is kind of like what I would like to see from the XLV, which is it, it was below, it kind of was just sinking below this popped up above now I would like to see a little retest maybe off maybe it re has reacquired this uptrend ray so maybe it bounces off that and that 200 day EMA and goes 
or comes back down to the anchored VWAP and runs up. I mean, off the bottom, right now, she had something there. She has something you could see basically right there. So maybe comes up, comes down through this, hits here in this general area towards the end of the month, and she starts to run up. Or she just cranks here, that's fine. <laughs> she wants to bust above this and run, go for it. Add V. What a mess. Oh, I should have gotten filled. I'll take it. Already up. I had a buy order in for that. Thanks, Ad V. CVS is already back on skyrocket mode. Amgen, I need you to come down a little bit more. Still, a I like it, but I still need. I really, I, I'm. You can see how this is. They jumped on this. She's just being crushed. There we go. So that's a steep angle of attack. It it seems to be holding this anchored VWAP well, and you got this uptrend raise. So there's lots of, uh, I shouldn't say a lot, there's some strong um, support here in a way. But you can see there's not a lot of anchored volume. So if she does drop below this, we might get a nice solid sell off. I'm not super excited because we have some, you know, I have a position in this, but I want more. I like I, I always want more. It's like healthy dividends. I want them to be ultimately very successful because that's where the money's ultimate you know, is is the end of the line for the compounding idea. But it's becoming like a hoarding situation. I always want more, and I don't like paying full price for it. Interesting. I don't know what that was about. Still have uh, ACAD. Oh. Ah! I hate myself. I wanted this around five and look at it now. So dumb. Keep an eye here on this sucker. I didn't. Add, I didn't. I should maybe. I'll take a shot now. I need to make this a little bit bigger of a position. And and you know, once if it gets to a dollar, I just I dump the majority of it and then let it, let it just sit there and be happy with you know. A good trade and then let the investment run forever and see this would be one of those ones where i just no matter what because well i shouldn't say no matter what but ultimately they either have something that's worth somebody uh, something to somebody else or they actually do have a you know these gene therapies are really worthy of commercialization and you know these guys can find some way to to go on their own and do it. I doubt it. I, I'm sure they'll be, probably be acquired if their gene therapies really do start to get some traction commercially, which is hard because it's, I mean, almost all the gene therapy, that's the biggest problem with the gene therapies and gene editing is that they are rare diseases. And, um, you know, you're going to have motivated patients because um, they're mostly parents, right? Because they're usually going, the rare genes, you're going to, uh, rare genes, the rare genetic disorders, um, yeah, diseases they're usually in children right so because it's hard for that those genes to be passed along because it's usually just a you know roll the dice unfortunately doesn't land correctly and the kid gets you know a rare disease and it stinks um so there is that issue but uh the parents are obviously gonna be very motivated right so 
because they want their kid to be healthy, have a you know nor quote unquote normal childhood. But it's still a rare disease. There's still you know thousands, not millions, not even sometimes tens of thousands, much less hundreds of thousands of patients, and you know they're not all in first world countries where there's good healthcare systems and the money, the finances, the support, um, plus the facilities to do it. You know some people are going to probably have to travel internationally to get to some of these gene therapy, these hospitals that do the therapies and perform the procedures, all that. But anyway, enough with that. So, there's only a few of them that, I mean, Sarepta's probably, is she on here still? I know she's on here. I'm just wondering if I still have. Let's just go to SRPT. This is probably one one of well, it's really the only one right now that is a gene therapy, gene editing company. And I took, I, I mean, I love it. I this is one of the ones I had back. She's at forty dollars, forty four bucks, I think, is what I got with this sucker a long time ago. Yeah, so she was here. That's the. So it was here. She got up to 40. And then, yeah. So this is, I got right in this area. Because this was approval for their first. And I got it in. Wait for, yeah, somewhere somewhere around here. Where was it? Maybe I added on the breakout. But my average was 40, like $44 for the longest time. And I booked profits when she got to like 150 area. Yeah. I don't know if it, it was. I don't know if it was here, but in just general area, you got 150, and then kind of rode it up, and then it was up here. I took a huge um, chunk off because this was one of the great um, kind of one of the. I guess this is a great example of when I realized instead of just sticking to fundamentals but really trying to find a solid technical exit it was here where we could see the weakening monthly rsi right and then the rising daily now I'll say this, this is not technical. This was a clinical hold. And so I sold going up into this and then like a day or two later, or actually it was more like a week later, it just dropped. Cause I remember it was at like 170 I think is when, yeah. So I was at 170 something and then it sold and I was like, how, I mean, I thought I dodged a bullet I thought, you know, all those clinical holds, gene therapies, and I'll get into, like, kind of the suspicion part of this, which is Pfizer has been trying to get, they have one, and it's been that hit clinical hold. They've had so many issues, and it was super just suspicious because I think the timing, they were just got their clinical hold. Oh, it just it just had Scott Gottlieb like all over it. It just felt like somebody was cracking somebody else's knees. It's like Scott Gottlieb coming up and Nancy Kerrigan just came up and Sarepta was Nancy Kerrigan and just got bashed in the knees with a with a pipe. Anyway, but she came down, she based out for a while, it was an easy buy, and that's where we are now. Moving on, after going down a deep rabbit hole. Not much going on this morning. I added to HRTX. I want to add on the HRTX today. So there's one. Kano, still looking at it. Didn't get a massive spike that I was looking for. 
after the oak spike. I think the number I'm, I'm thinking of is it's still around 10 or 11 dollars is where Kano should really be at. <laughs> I really believe this thing is, I mean, for what it is now, I think is worth 10 or 11 bucks per share. So, KPTI, how you, oh, what? This one I gotta watch too. Sophia's really going. Okay, so that's okay. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. Kind of a little further out. So where would you go down? You can see that she'd probably be right there. Maybe we'll just go off that. Actually, let's see if that fits up. Yep. It's not perfect, but you can see where we're at. We're close to something here. So KPTI is definitely on there. I'm, I really want to add to that. Um, Anavex, it, uh, AV, AVXL, take a look at that um, piece I wrote yesterday. It's in the chat. Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I don't think I shared it in the chat. I'll do that right when I get done with the uh, video. Um... I think their data is super solid on Alzheimer's and the mechanism of action that they go after is is a major issue across most neurodegenerative diseases. Um you know, these ideas of alpha and beta plaques, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I mean, maybe I should do a video on neurodegenerative disease, but the idea is that, very much like how we have problems with plaque on our, uh, in our arteries, it kind of has the same idea with these, these build-ups, um, you know, in our central nervous system and neurons, is that, uh, it kind of gets clogged up and things stop working correctly and there's atrophy and you know Alzheimer's Parkinson's MS I mean there's a lot of them going on and it's it's a huge opportunity if it's right because it's I, I can't come up with anything any medicine that could save this country and the world, the, the global healthcare, so much money. If you can identify people who are susceptible to those diseases when they've uh, the early onset, if you can put this on them, and it, it, I mean that safety profile is beautiful, beautiful. And if those people, I mean, if the if this data shows it still keeps working after five years or something like that, which I mean, obviously they're not that far into like a, you know extended or post studies. If they could stay, I mean, they could show even if it was like three, four, five years. You're talking about people that are usually towards the end of their life in the first place that start developing these. But if you're susceptible and they don't have to worry about toxicity, and there's there's data that shows for say it does work indefinitely. Say it's something that keeps working. And it can slow it. You're somebody at like you know, you could take the person's you know family history and kind of circle an area where we should start looking for it. And if there's any sort of you know they can do any sort of diagnostic that they need to, to that they use to confirm. And if it's if there's any sort of hint that it's moving in that direction, they could get somebody on this and hopefully th kind of prevent the disease from killing the person because ultimately it does um you know it's, it's neurodegenerative your body just is always in some sort of state of trauma when your nerves aren't working right so something's not your brain's not working correctly which is obviously essential and then you know the, the signals to the heart lungs body everything every vital organ doesn't work correctly and your quality of life is i mean it's like you, you can only eventually in some of these you just become uh, you know I hate I mean it's it's true in some cases you become a zombie or a vegetable 
you know, depending on where you are and what stage, and nobody wants to see their parents or grandparents or any loved ones or anybody in general get to that point. So if we can have a drug that works like that, they figured they figured something out. And so far, the data and almost everything they've put it into, it really works. Now, I'll give, I can either give them some crazy credit that they've been very good in, in identifying and they've been, done a great job with getting their, you know, I guess, uh, identifying and setting up great trials and recruiting and all that stuff. That could be totally true. And this is a decent drug that's being put through a great company that knows what they're doing. Or, or potentially, there's another option, which is, you know, they, these guys know what they're doing, but the drugs and the science is elite. And they figured out their mechanism of action, and every time they turn over another rock to go after another neurodegenerative um, disease or another CNS disease in general, and it's showing some promise, gorgeous. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's see what we got there, you know? If it keeps going and it just keeps... Even at, like, there's a few other drugs out there that, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I, I firmly believe in Loronlamab even despite, you know, cytidine's issues. See, that's another, that's a, that's, that's a great example of kind of what I think is not going on here, which is amazing product, drug, therapeutic in that way, um, biologic, but has had a terrible time with their um, management and you know they seem to be turning things around but it might be too little too late um, they do have a great idea that might save the company down the road but we'll see what they anyway that's another that's a bad that's a good example of um, a great drug bad company um, Another one, well, that, this is the one that's kind of good and good. It's a hard drug, but the, it's it's also in the CNS, which is New Plazid. Uh, that's Acadia. They have, you know, their drug seems to be very operative in a variety of neurodegenerative, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia, um, you know, and different sub-indications like handling the psychosis of which, you know, that's a big thing I think right now is, is a lot of the symptoms part. Can they handle, can you, can you, you might not be able to stop the progression of the disease, but could you at least stop some of the terrible symptoms that obviously like, you know, people get it really bad. They even, even though they're still an operative, you know, I keep using the word operative, but they're still walking around and they're still, you know, a human in, in their in their daily daily life, unfortunately, they have psychosis and they start seeing things and they believe their loved ones are out to get them or you know they become dangerous. Um, those are those are great drugs. New Plazid's another one where um, they're doing they're doing their best to like Acadia is doing their best to figure out how to expand that label because it seems like it's it works in a lot of ways, but the trials are rough because now you're dealing with. Now you're dealing with people who are, their brain's, you know, erratic. And so it's hard to get strong measurements. Um, you know, they're dying, stuff like that. Um, and that, which has been an issue uh, with a lot of these Alzheimer's and any CNS de 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 neurodegeneratives, which is some people are just dropping. They just, they just, their brain doesn't work. Something stops working correctly and they die. And then, but. So the you know several people die while they're on the drug. They have to raise a like a little bit of a flag there, which is hey, is this is the drug doing it, or is it just the fact that statistically you're going to probably lose four or five people the course of the, you know this trial, and it's hard to discern. Um, and so they've they've battled that, but so far, so far. Um, Anavex has not really had any of those issues. So, all right. Well, that's me going off a huge tangent again. I apologize. Long video. Um, I'll put the watch list up in the chat. Um, I'm probably going to keep an uh, eye on Baxter today. She's down big, but.
Baxter, KPTI, anybody else here? Bayer was up big yesterday, so she's going to be pulling back a little bit. Again, I still don't know what happened here. The move came off January 3rd. I think this is it. This must be it, actually. Yeah, I mean, who? Wow! <laughs> Bears like GE. It probably should be bro. I mean, it's it's a great company in many ways, but they just. The, was it the Monsanto? I go on to say DeSanto. Um, Monsanto, I good idea, but holy man, did they run into the wrong? That was bad. I mean, bad, bad luck, maybe. I don't know. It's still a great business, but yeah, this is where we should be. <laughs> still in control. Wow. Whoa, hello. We're out of it, and we're blue. Look at that. So now, for those looking to get in, any sort of pullback to 1550 area? Because you're going to have, even if the active investor, I mean, they put money into it, they're going to push for the breakup. We'll see what happens, but in terms of the stock... Technical analysis wise, yeah, you're gonna want to find that come to the bottom here. Fifteen fifty, fifteen, fifteen dollars. We'll go with that. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. Good luck. Um, short, short watch, watch list, but I'm gonna be active today. I think if if we can. If we can hold this. Alright, good luck. Stay healthy.